Okay, I'm going to help you with yesterday's assignment and give you some notes for today's assignment. First, let's talk about what the two formulas are. I put them on the board up here. You can see them on the board. Um, let me go ahead and get people at home. These are the formulas. Leave it there for 10 seconds or so while you write them down. These problems are pretty easy if you use the formulas and use your um, critical thinking. If you will think about this, you can do this. This is not, there's nothing in here that you, says you can't do it. If you said that you could, didn't understand this, you were being hard-headed. I'm really kind of disappointed in you guys. This problem says, if a regular polygon has 10 sides, what is the measure of each interior angle and the measure of each exterior angle? Okay, so if it has 10 sides, we know the interior angle's formula. First of all, we need to know how many, how, how many degrees for each. Let's say, let's say exterior angles first. Exterior angles. equals 360 degrees. Well, if there's 10 of them, then you go 360 divided by 10, well, that's really hard, equals 36 degrees. So there's 36 degrees in each exterior angle because there's three. There's 10 of them and there's 360 total. That's pretty tough. All right, next one. It says um, exterior angles. Well, we need to know how many, how many, do, what's the total? I mean, interior angles. What's the total interior angles um, and so we have the formula, N minus 2 times 180. Oh, that's pretty, pretty tough. Well, there's 10 minus 2 times 180, 8 times 180. So we have 8 times 180 equals 1440. Okay, so then each one, it's a regular polygon, what's each angle? Each angle is divided by 10, 144 degrees. Okay, that was pretty hard. Let's go to the next problem. Everybody see that? Everybody see that answer? Okay, if, if a regular polygon has 18 sides, what's the measure of each interior angle and each exterior angle? All right, again, so it's 360 divided by 18. Twenty, so each exterior angle is 20 degrees, each interior to exterior angle. 20 degrees for each exterior angle, interior angles. Okay, so we need to know how many total degrees there are. 18 sides minus 2 times 180. 16 times 180 equals 2880. So that's the total number of interior angle degrees. Total number of interior angle degrees. So if we have an 18-sided figure, it has 20 each. You add up all of them, it's going to be 2,880, okay? There's 18 of them divided by 18, 160 degrees each, okay? 160 degrees each. That means if there's 18 of them, it's a whole bunch of them, so they're going to be, it's almost like a circle. Each one of those is going to be 160 degrees real flat. All right, that was pretty hard. I can see why y'all had trouble with this yesterday. If an exterior angle has a regular of a regular polygon measures 60 degrees, find the measure of each interior angle and the number of sides. Okay, so exterior angle 60 degrees. Well, there's 360 total. You divide that by 60 and you see that there are six angles. Okay, so the so Number of sides, number of sides, six. That was pretty hard, okay? So the measure of each interior angle, okay? So we gotta find how many total, six times, oops, not six times, 
6 minus 2 times 180 equals 4 times 180, which equals 720. So there's 720 total divided by 6. 720 divided by 6 equals 120 degrees. So each one's 120 degrees. If you have a six-sided figure, a hexagon, then it has... 100, each one of them is 120 degrees, a hexagon. Let's see. 3, 4, 5, 6. If it's regular, that means all of them are the same. Each one of these is 120 degrees. Oh, that's pretty tough. I'm glad you guys had a hard time with that. Um, each angle of an interior angle has 108. Find the measure of each interior angle and the number of sides. So the easiest thing to do is it says an interior angles. Okay, so um, so we need to know what the exterior angles are because they're supplementary to it. We said that on the it's on it's written on your notes over there. They're supplementary, so we go 108 from 180, and so you say that they are 72 degrees each. That's the exterior angles. Okay, there's 360 degrees total divided by 72. 360 divided by 72. Oh, there's five sides. It's a pentagon. So this is a five-sided figure because there's 72, there's, there's angles, 72 angles, 72 degree angles, and there's 300 divided by 360 gives us five angles. If there's five angles, there's also five sides. Measure of each exterior angle. The measure of each exterior angle. Okay, let's see. Let's look at that. Um, so, I mean, that's... So we, so we want to know... Oh, we, had, oh, we already did it. Measure of ex exterior angle, 72 degrees because it's supplementary to the interior angle. So oh, that was so hard. All right, next problem. The measure of each interior angle of a regular polygon is 11 times that of the ex exterior angle. Okay, so we have two angles. If it's an exterior angle, let's just take a square. Uh, let's, 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 let's make it not a square. Let's, let's, take a, let's take a hexagon again. All right, so hexagon looks like this. Six, okay. So, if that's the exterior angle, interior angle, um, so this is 120 if it's a regular one, because we just figured that out a minute ago, and the exterior angle would be a 60, because six times 60 is 360, and that's what we said the exterior angles are equal to. All right, so the measure of the interior angles of a regular polygon is 11 times that of an interior. Okay, so we got, we have... Um, exterior plus interior equals 180. Well, the exterior angle, what did it say about it? How many sides? Of, the ex, the uh, 11 times that of an exterior angle. So the, ex, so the exterior angle is X plus 11X equals 180. Exterior angle, interior angle, 11 times the exteriors. All right, so that's 12x equals 180 divided by 12. x equals 180 divided by 12 equals 15. So that means that the exterior angle is 15 degrees. 11, so that's the exterior. Okay, the interior is going to be 11 times 15. 165, so interior, 165, and how many sides does the polygon have? Well, we know that it's 15 degrees, and there's 360 degrees, so we can divide that by 15, so 360 divided by 15, and we get 24. So it's a 24-sided figure. Oh, that was really tough. I'm glad you guys had a hard time with that. Um, let's look at some uh, number two on your homework. Okay, this looks a whole lot different than what you just did. The interior angles of a, of a regular polygon are 140 degrees. Interior angles is 140. 
interior 140, exterior 40, because they have to add up to 180. Okay, how many sides does the polygon have? Well, there's 360 degrees in a exterior angle, it's divided by 40. Zero four to so 90, nine. So this is a nine-sided figure. You would name it a nonagon. Well, that was pretty tough. Okay, glad you guys had trouble with that. All right. Oh, let's look at these. These are so much harder. There's this is the uh, this uh, this Z. Those are supplementary. They must be a linear pair. So Z equals seventy degrees. That was really tough. Okay. Um, the this is a this is a four sided figure. That, that that's a quadrilateral. So a quadrilateral has 360 degrees. That means that 100 plus 70 plus 87. Okay, let's go and add that up. 170, 100, 257. 257. Uh, plus Y must equal 360 degrees. 360 minus 257. Oh, 103. So that was, yeah, that, I can see how that gave you a lot of trouble. Okay? Exterior angle is equal to 360. Oh, let's see. What do we have here? X, W, X, Y, Z, interior. Oh, interior angle. Let's see. What do you do on this one? Hmm. Okay, so X plus Y plus W. Oh, no, we got Z's all on the outside. How many, let's see, the exterior angles, that's that's pretty hard. That's 360 degrees, right? So we say the exterior angles equals 360. 360 equals the exterior angles. That's uh, Z plus Z minus 13 plus um, Z plus 10 equals 360 degrees. Oh, that's really difficult. Let's see, 3Z. Uh, plus minus 3 equals 360. Okay, so we'll subtract, I mean, add 3. So 363 equals 3z. And then we'll divide by 3 because, you know, solving these simple equations is pretty hard. So that goes in that one time and that two times and that one time. Z equals 121. Okay. All right. Now, if Z equals 121, that means that X has to be supplementary to it. Well, what is that? Uh, 180 minus 121, 180 minus, let's see, what would that be? 59? 59, 59 degrees. So X equals 59. Um, Z minus 13. So that means that this angle is going to be 121 minus 13. How can we do this? Um, 21. 13 equals a 108. So this is 108. Um, 108 from 180 means that W is equal to um, let's see, 108 minus 80, 72. 180 minus 108, 72. All right, so we have 59 and 72. 59 plus 72 equals 131 minus 180, uh, 49. So Y equals 49. Again, that was re I'm really disappointed in you guys because you can do this work. You didn't have to learn anything. The only thing that you needed to know was that there was 360 degrees in exterior angles and that the N minus 2 times 180 gives you the total number of interior angles. That's all. The, that's, that's the whole lesson. I can give you those two formulas, and if you think, you can do it.